you get to see when you walk through the front gates of the zoo. Uh, and they are very cheeky, they do like to copy people. Um, so we're going to go over there and get a first hand experience of just what they're actually like. Um, first of all, it is raining, um, so hopefully you can still hear me. Teachers do everything rain, hail or shine, so nothing ever stops us from doing our job. So today we're going to be doing all of this in the rain. Um, another thing is, I will have to wear my mask just because we can transmit uh, illnesses and things like that to these guys, so we don't want to do that to them today. So I'll be putting my mask on uh, once we get over there, just make sure that if you can't hear me, give a shout out, uh, and I can speak a little bit louder. Alright, so you guys want to follow me. Let's not go in the water. <laughs> now, before we go over there, we have to make sure we empty all of our pockets, just because these guys know to be pickpocketed. So they will take everything and anything out of your pockets that they can. Keys as well, but we'll see how we go with them. We are also going to take some enrichment for them. We've got a nice floating duck, and we do have some lunch as well. today because it is starting to rain uh, but make sure we don't step on any fish on the way over and make sure we don't take any monkeys on the way back <laughs> so this is our little family of brown monkeys now the biggest one here in the middle is Terea Oh, that was Guido that stole that one. We also have Cheetah and Mateo. So Terea is about six years old. Cheetah and Mateo are about five. And Guido is about three years old. So Guido is the cheekiest out of all of them. Um, but they all are extremely, extremely cheeky. <laughs> Here you go. So they are watching me at the moment. They can see the duck that I have in my hand and they are very curious as to what it is. <laughs> I might just pop it. Oh, he got it. Now they can. What is it? <laughs> so that's them having a look at the uh, the duck there. They're not un really sure about what it is. So these guys actually have the largest brain to body mass ratio. So it makes them extremely smart. Uh, so what we have to do is enrich these guys at least three or four times daily. So these guys, like I said, they're very smart. So we do need to continuously change up their environment, bring fun and uh, interesting things in just to keep them nice and um, stimulated. Oh, they're all candy. <laughs> so they do currently have access um, into their dens just because it is a bit of a cold day. <laughs> Oh, they're afraid of the duck. We might move the duck somewhere else. It's all right. So enrichment can be positive or it can be negative. In this case, they're very unsure about this. Um, it is another animal entering their enclosure. Uh, so they are trying to figure out exactly what it is and what's going on. Oh, she's good. So you did hear that little chirp just then. Uh, that was a bit of a warning um, to say, hey, you're coming too close with this scary animal. Uh, but these guys do have up to 40 different vocalizations. Um, so they do talk to each other. They do have um, different ways of communicating and telling each other what's going on. If there's something big and scary coming out from the wild, uh, they will generally tell each other. <laughs> so these guys live in the Amazon. Uh, so they are arboreal, which means they spend majority of their time up in the trees. Um, so in this enclosure, we do have lots of high places for them, um, which is also why we have a high point entry into their den. Um, but they do like to live up high in treetops. <laughs> now they do live in groups of 40 to 50 usually, uh, but they can reach up to 200 individuals. So that's a lot of squirrel monkeys in one place. They do also have this form of um, shared rearing. So mum can actually pass on her babies uh, to other females and they will look, uh, will look after them for her. So some infants actually spend up to 30% of time on another female. Now we do have four males in this enclosure here. Um, hello. Terea is the biggest because he is <laughs> one of the breeding males. 
Um, so he actually keeps all of his uh, nice big fur uh, that they sort of develop during breeding season. Uh, but the other guys generally lose it outside of breeding season. So you can see them. The duck we've just put in the bag here. Uh, they are trying to figure out what it is. Um, but like I said, things that stimulate them is great because um, they are the smartest or one of the smartest primates, so they do need to be kept busy all of the time. <laughs> so they're taking the long route around because they're really not sure about what's going on. It is also raining, so they are spending a lot of time inside, uh, but generally you will notice if you do come and visit us at the zoo, they are hanging around, watching all the people, um, and sort of taking in what they're doing and their behaviours. So they are very, very curious animals. I do have some food for them today. Now they mainly are omnivores, uh, which means they eat a variety of everything. Oh, you didn't want that one? So that's Cheetah. <laughs> Every time you look at Cheetah, he will scream at you. So that's one of the best <laughs> ways to tell him apart from the others. <laughs> um, but like I was saying, they, um, oh, you're gonna steal it out of the container. Okay. Um, <laughs> They are omnivores, so they eat a variety of different things. They do love their seeds, uh, their fruits, and their insects as well. Uh, so he's making a nice mess right now, um, picking apart, trying to get the chicken out of some chicken and rice. Oh, you're going to open. So he's taking a pick of what he wants today. We do feed them a variety of fun things. Um, one of their favourite things is actually mushrooms. Um, so we do have some mushrooms in here as well. He's probably going to get to that in a minute. Can we share with your friends? <laughs> so you can see there, he's pretty cool. Very, very curious. I'm surprised he hasn't taken the phone off uh, Rachel yet. Uh, generally, if you do take things, uh, these guys do sit and people watch. So if you guys are sitting there on your phones out in the cafe just out there, uh, they generally learn how to use phones and what to do. So. <laughs> They are very, very curious, as you can see. They can probably see their own reflection in the camera as well, um, which they do like to see. We do give mirrors for enrichment occasionally, uh, which keeps it nice and interesting because they get to see what they look like. There you go. So he's just picking all of his favorites, which is corn and mushroom. Yep. And he's run off with it now. <laughs> wow. There you go. So you can see these awesome tails on these guys. So unlike most of the New World monkeys, they don't have prehensile tails, which means they don't use them to move around. The only reason they have these beautifully long tails is for balance. Um, so when they're running high through the treetops, uh, they use this tail to sort of counterbalance themselves so they don't fall out of any trees. we have here at the National Zoo are the Bolivian squirrel monkeys um, but there are five species and eight subspecies of squirrel monkeys. Now these guys are not they're the least concerned um, in the conservation status just because there are a few of them uh, out in the wild but in saying that it's not uh, their numbers are actually declining so because they live in the Amazon rainforest, you can imagine that logging and habitat um, destruction is one main reason for why their numbers are declining pretty rapidly. Um, but these guys, they do have um, quite a few predators out in the wild as well. Uh, so things like big cats, like leopards and things like that that can climb trees and reach them. Uh, also birds of prey because they spend a lot of time up high, uh, so the birds of prey do come along and try and snatch them up. This is a little bit of brotherly love for you. <laughs> so he's just saying, hey, this is mine, <laughs> showing a little bit of dominance. Um, they're always going to have a dominant one in the group. Uh, they do always assert dominance over each other uh, very often. <laughs> so you can see that, um, oh, there we go, on my head. Um, occasionally they do sort of wee on their hands. Now this is totally normal for them. It's actually a way of scent marking. 
Um, so when they're climbing and running through trees, they can scent, they wee on their hand, run through the trees and they're scent marking so that the rest of their group can actually follow them. <laughs> Hello. So these guys are actually pretty light. So every time they jump on us, you can't really tell. They're less than a kilo. So uh, very, very light. <laughs> very, very curious. So most of the time, if we take anything on here with us, uh, it does go into their possession, oh. uh, such as the phone right now. <laughs> if he does steal the phone, it could be pretty cool. You could see uh, what a monkey's perspective is, um, but also not so good at the same time because we have had things thrown into the moat around their enclosure uh, when they're done with it. <laughs> so you can see them happily eating away over here. So yeah, that's our Squirrel Monkey Island. Thank you guys for joining us today. If you have any questions, feel free to pop them in the comments and we may be able to answer them for you. Hope you guys have a lovely day.